Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. I'm Jessica and I'm here. Today we're in the Salsa, a prestigious communication school in Paris with students. We are going to deal with a topical issue. How the internet affects the financial crisis in the head. Let me introduce you to our guests, Clarice, Kirsty, Kevin, and three Spanish observators, Elba, Leticia, and Belen. The last box polling. Our Hello. teacher. <laughs> Thank you for all of them. So, who will be the first to talk? <laughs> Kevin? Yes. Thank you. Hello, Jessica. I would say that um, uh, the internet has a really bad impact on uh, the economic crisis. Because uh, with blogs and forums, every people are stressed. And uh, um, they say uh, rumors about the crisis, and they are very anxious. And yeah, so, I agree. And that's so true. Please, please stock just stock exchange went down, and uh, people want to 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 sell their, their their shares. So there is a real problem, and internet can affect the crisis. So that, this is my point of view. I am disagree. I I, I think that the internet has a positive effect in the crisis because you have uh, look at all the information that you uh, would uh, know and it's uh, real time and uh, you have uh, you can yes this is this is what Matt is listen to me. This is Listen, Kevin. In, in 1929, they didn't have internet. It's not the same. Oh, can you compare? Okay. It's not because you're a human that you're stressed. Okay. No, so. People are stressed. We have computers, you know? Yeah. It's learning. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Really really later, can't right? say that. People do not have to worry. There is. There is. I think I'm going to change my mind. And I agree with Kevin. Yes. I think the internet is very interesting. And you can have a lot of information who is very which is very necessary. But I also agree that maybe a lot of information can make um, can do the, the, the people be can scare the people. You know, like, like when Orson Welles uh, in the radio has talked about the, the world, the world, the world, the world, okay, the world. Werewolf? Yeah, werewolf. Oh, okay, okay. It's, it's War of the World. Uh, like, War of the World. <laughs> okay, I, I, I know the, the name Spanish. And so you can, people can be scared and it could be uh, a big, um, I don't know, panic or something like that. But any other way, I think it's very important to be informed. Yeah, yes. I totally agree and uh, I think that internet is um, uh, making things um, worse because uh, on the internet you can find whatever you want. If you think one thing you can find it and if, if you think the contrary you can also find it. So how can you, how can you find the good information? Uh, I, I, I totally disagree with Faustine. I totally disagree because the information I get from the internet is very accurate. I can tell you, for example, if I change my computer a little bit, I can tell you exactly what the uh, London Stock Exchange is right now. And that's very accurate information. It's not false. It's not somebody's opinion. And there are inaccurate information too. Written by people uh, via blogs or... Ooh. Okay, exactly. Yes, but I don't read blogs. I look at the Financial Times, yeah, uh, Wall Street Journal. Yeah, but I'm reading blogs. I'm not looking oh, at newspaper well, online. Uh, moreover, we're 6 billion on this planet, and this crisis concerns the 6 billion of people, and only 1 billion get internet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, oh. but it's good. I think internet is a really good tool because you can answer people with the crisis. You have to do a good communication. The problem with internet is that you can control nothing. And so, People can cannot be sure what uh, everything is done. So there is a real problem with that. It's the way to communicate on the internet and uh, let people think that uh, everything's good or uh, it, it, it 
there is really a problem with the crisis. Oh, but we have only one thing. Uh, I think that it's necessary a control, a good 